Well, Nintendo did another Nintendo Direct earlier today, although there wasn't many real first-party games. They did an indie, and then they did some of their partner third-party games coming to the Switch. Here's a few that I picked out that I found interesting. Don't get me wrong, there are plenty of others. Dragon Quest III, Suikoden, as well as The Trails of the Sky are ones that I'm moderately interested in. The problem is, is with most of those, I actually have the originals and I want to play them first before I play any remake. But let's get started. Um, first one that I do want to talk about is Tales of Graces F is getting another remaster because F was originally a remaster for the PS3. But basically a few months ago, I did a rant about them taking it off the PS3 store. Again, I'm not too concerned about this game becoming really lost because there's probably more physical sales than digital, and it was taken down on a storefront that's on its last legs. What I was more pissed about is that Bandai Namco doesn't release their classic games on modern storefronts. That does piss me off, so I am glad to see that we are getting Tales of Graces F back on a modern day storefront. With that said, it's one of the weaker Tales games. I would have picked Zillia over this any day of the week. It's still pretty strong compared to Zestiria, though. It's actually a pretty interesting story. If I was to describe the story briefly, it would be My Little Pony meets Terminator in an anime fantasy land. And I wish I was joking, but that really is kind of the story. Still, being originally for the Wii, the game is limited a on the way it plays and it's a bit too linear that said good combat and while the story is a bit cheesy it still has its really fun moments so i do recommend picking this one up provided they don't screw it up like the tales of symphonia switch remake then we have a castlevania dominus collection leave it to konami to not announce something this awesome until the day of its release like Castlevania Advanced Collection, you get two awesome Metroidvanias, a decent but flawed Metroidvania, and a Castlevania game that is just plain crap. Castlevania Dracula X for the Super Nintendo is probably my least favorite Castlevania game, but Haunted Castle was a close second place, and they're remaking this because Castlevania Adventure Rebirth is not vaporware at all, does not deserve a chance on this collection. What the heck, Konami? Anyways, hopefully this remake turns out better than the actual game, which has already been ported with the um, Konami Arcade Collection that was released several years ago with the Castlevania Anniversary Collection. Still, Donna Sorrow and Portrait of Ruins are must plays in my book, one of the top tier Castlevania games. Order of Ecclesia is a bit too much on the difficult side for me to give a full recommendation, but it's not a terrible game. Anyways, moving on, we got Fitness Boxing. I got Fitness Boxing Fist of the North Star a couple of months ago, and so far I'm enjoying it. It provides some good workouts, so I'm kind of curious to see what they're going to add it anything to it this one's going to be a wait and see what the reviews are because i hear a lot of the fitness boxing games are kind of the same thing and then finally we have tetris forever which is a collection of tetris games starting with the nes tetris game and going on to a uh, few more sequels and stuff that i've never had a chance to try i've heard of things like hatris and tetris 2 so I'm kind of interested in getting this collection, provided it's not too pricey. Anyways, that's my thoughts on some of the games I was actually kind of interested in with this uh, Nintendo Direct. Oh, see you guys later. Bye.